end of this video guys, make sure you check out gswear.com for some good cheap games, I'll leave a link in the description. How's it going guys, it's Salim coming back at you with a brand new video, today we're doing something completely different, it's the top 5 players who are dubbed the next Ronaldo but have since failed. As I said guys, it's something completely different, so I hope you guys enjoy, if you do, remember to leave a like and subscribe, let's get right into the video. After Cristiano Ronaldo's Ballon d'Or and after an amazing 2007-2008 season, which saw him lift the Champions League trophy with Manchester United, and yet another great 2008-2009 season, which saw Manchester United beaten in the Champions League final by Barcelona and Ronaldo beaten to the Ballon d'Or by none other than Lionel Messi, understandably attracted interest from Real Madrid. So in 2009, Real Madrid paid what at the time was a record-breaking £80 million to bring Ronaldo to the Bernabeu. Obviously, Ronaldo left a huge gap in the United team, a gap which Manchester United have tried many times to fill, mostly unsuccessfully. So today we're going to be discussing the top five players who United have brought in to replace him, but have failed to do so. In at one is Nani. Previously playing with Ronaldo at both club and international level, a lot of responsibility was placed on Nani after the departure of Ronaldo, arguably responsibility he couldn't really handle. After losing his international teammate, Nani failed to fill his boots at Manchester United. This is highlighted in the 2013 Champions League fixture where Ronaldo knocks United out of the competition and Nani was controversially sent off. Just got his foot up, he catches Arbeloa quite high. Oh, oh, it's red! Now that's extraordinary. His boot was high and caught his opponent. But the man who sent John no, Terry off in the new camp last season. Unfortunately, Nani's career continues to go downhill after this and was sold to Fernabache in 2014 and now finds himself playing in Italy at Lazio. And that's why he is the first failed replacement for Ronaldo. Number two is Ashley Young. After some stellar performances at Aston Villa, Manchester United made the decision to buy Ashley Young in 2011 for a relatively cheap 16 million. Before long he was labelled the next Ronaldo, but unfortunately this wasn't the case. Despite a few good performances, Ashley Young's most memorable appearance in a Manchester United shirt was when a bird did the <laughs> in his mouth. Away from, uh, in front of by Young. Yeah, well he went for a little flick with the outside of his foot there, but I thought he could have taken that on himself. Ashley Young is now playing left-back for Manchester United surprisingly well, but has turned out nowhere near the Ronaldo-like player he was expected to become. In at 3 is Antonio Valencia. Manchester United signed him from Wigan in 2009, as the winger had shown potential in the Premier League. The Ecuadorian was expected to be a direct replacement for Ronaldo, and slot into the right-wing position he'd left vacant. If this went well, the 17 million Manchester United had spent on him would have been worth it. However, despite showing his raw pace, Valencia didn't do much for United. Despite being in some successful teams and picking up a few titles, he lacked the skill to get fans out of their seats and excite them in the way Ronaldo did in the season before. He even wore the number 7 shirt for a season in the 2012-2013 season before reverting back to his old number 25. All in all, Valencia wasn't a bad signing for Manchester United and was well worth the £17 million they'd spent on him, but was victim to the huge boots Ronaldo had left them to fill. Gary Neville's made a great overlapping run. It's found its way to Neville. Valencia, 2-0! Antonio Valencia scores his first goal in the red and white of Manchester United. Similarly to Ashley Young, Valencia has developed into a very good right back of late, but also, like Ashley Young, has come nowhere near replacing Ronaldo. Number four is Adnan Yanazai. After being handed his first team debut in Alex Ferguson's final game in charge in the 5 0 thriller against West Brom after impressing in the youth team, the youngster continues to excel under the new manager David Moyes, receiving plenty of first team opportunities. Again, unfortunately, the young Belgian was given the burden of being labelled the next Ronaldo, and as David Moyes led United to a disappointing 7th place and was sacked, Yanazai fell out of favour with new boss Lou Van Hel. His career began a diamond spiral after such a promising start, with underwhelming loan spells at Borussia Dortmund and Sunderland, and was soon shipped off to Real Sociedad for a mere 7.5 million. Central, Everett on the outside, here's Yanazai, 1-1! His first Manchester United goal. Nani. Is Yanuzai. What a volley. Well, uh, Although Yanuzai probably won't become the next Ronaldo, he is still only 22 and he has time to save his career and still has the potential to be an outstanding player. In at 5, and a final player on this list is Memphis Depay. After a remarkable season at PSV Eindhoven which saw him win the Golden Boot and lift the Eredivisie in the same season and a decent World Cup, 
Manchester United were understandably somewhat excited about the signing of Memphis Depay by Louis van Gaal for around 30 million. And of course, being a pacey winger who had good ability from set pieces and a great right foot, you could guess he was dubbed the next Ronaldo. Unfortunately, yet again, this was not the case. Depay's performances in the United shirt were poor, but he did show some small glimmers of the talent he possessed. The inability, however, to produce good performances consistently saw him sold to Lyon for almost 50 million by Jose Mourinho. However, Manchester United do have a buyback clause on his contract if he does develop into the next Ronaldo, as similarly to Yanazai, he does have time as he is only 23. Anyway, that just about wraps up for today, guys. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If you think I've forgotten someone off this list, remember to let me know in the comments down below. That's just about it for me, guys. So I'll see you in the next video.